Hello, I'm Teacher January from 51 Talk, and um, I've been working in 51 Talk since February of 2014. Uh, I just made this video to share, you know, uh, my my best practices in teaching, and of course, I'm also gonna walk you through on some new requirements in 51 Talk that was just recently uh, launched this 2019. Uh, I wasn't aware of that actually but when I referred someone and said that she was declined I was like why so there there's already a new requirements and standards uh, from 51 talk and I'm just gonna give you some details about that today I'm also gonna walk you through on the process of how you can get the job how you can nail the job and of course um, I'm gonna give you some feedback on my experience it's been a long time with 51 talk and you can expect good feedback from me though uh, I'm not going to be biased of course there's no perfect job in the world but I can say that if I want talk is really a reliable company so let's get started I don't want this to this video to be very long so um, uh, if I want talk started in 2011 and uh, it's a Chinese company yes um, you're gonna teach Chinese students all levels uh, I experience two years old or three years old so those are really struggle you know for me uh, it's very hard to teach toddlers you know especially during their young age um, but it's a good experience you can experience that here in Five One Talk they are very friendly they are very kind and very loving students um, very seldom that you'll meet bad ass students um, very very seldom in my in my experience um, I'm a senior teacher and um, I always have full schedule um, like eight hours a day that's uh, that's that's my normal schedule and my slots or my my bookings it's always full the the benefit of having five one talk in my opinion is they are the top educational platform in China so you will not lack any student not unless you're just a new launch teacher but give it at least one month and I guarantee you I've, I've done that with so many uh, friends and I've referred so many people that I don't really know they just ask help from me and I just give them some tips and after one month they you know they're just like whoa mind-blowing they're earning more than me sometimes <laughs> in just a matter of one month so it's just a, it's just really up to you you know if you really want to earn more there are tips that I can give you so yes so uh, more students in 51 talk because the company was uh, was able to enter the New York Stock Exchange yes uh, that's another thing that I like about the company you can really say that it's stable because um, it's a part of the NYSE uh, it entered NYSE 2016 if I'm not mistaken which really made me proud of 51 talk um, very very stable very reliable the system is good um, the the classroom platform is absolutely reliable and uh, of course sometimes there are technical issues but 51 talk will make up to it and you know if it's not your fault they will give you enough uh, compensation or they're gonna remove the penalty because that's not your fault so they're 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 just really fair with their freelance teachers so as I said it's a freelancing it's you are not an employee of 51 talk you're not paying tax as of the moment uh, we're not paying tax um, you're just really giving your service to your students okay you, you just have an agreement on you know, on what to do the rules the do's and don'ts in the classroom and during during your open classes you know there are things that of course there's a policy to follow but they're not your employer okay we are not employees of 51 talk I'll just clear that to you we are still free 
Lansing because you have the freedom to choose the time when to open the slots and when to close. You have the you have the freedom to choose your day off if you want a one week day off, whatever that's your call. So that's the benefit of Five One Talk, and that made me stay here for for a long time. I don't want to compute, but February fourteen to February two thousand nineteen. Though I have some some break during the middle of the year but i can say that i keep on coming back in five one talk so i'm one of the senior teachers i think i'm batch nine and now they have we have how many teachers 17 i forgot but we have lots of teachers 17,000 or 10,000 we have lots of filipino teachers and their target is i think 100,000 <laughs> so you can be one of us and uh, let's talk about how can you enter 5-1 Talk. Oh, by the way, why is it 5-1 Talk? So many people are curious. Why is it 5-1 Talk? Okay, so the word 5-1, the, the word 5, actually, it sounds like I in Chinese. So when you say 5, that's I in Mandarin. And when you say 1, 1, like 1, it's want. I want talk. Five one talk. I want talk. So that's the meaning of five one talk. So every time when I when I uh, uh, when I enter the classroom or when I end the class, I would say thank you for choosing five one talk because that means you're giving a brand to the company and you're just very proud of it, right? So that's the meaning of 5-1 talk. I was like, ooh, <laughs> some people doesn't know that, right? So that's the meaning of the word 5-1 talk. So how can you make it to 5-1 talk? Mm, okay, I'm gonna show you some picture. I'm not a pro, actually, if you can see my YouTube, this is going to be my first uh, video, but I just really want to share this because I feel uh, that I need, I have this eagerness to share what I know about the company. So what is your job in 5-1 Talks? I'll make it bigger than my face if so that you can see it clearly. Okay, I'm just going to cover. No, okay, there. So you're going to teach English language to Chinese students and evaluate their performance based on their set guidelines. So this kind of teaching, I just want to... Um, explain to you that this is not easy okay so you're gonna teach kids you will start from phonics like a is for apple a uh, a uh, apple there are levels like that then actually we have more kids than the adults for the adults well you can teach anything like you're gonna read a book you're gonna discuss anything under the sun based on the book that they will that they will have on the classroom so um, all levels you should be prepared for that okay so for advanced students like they can talk like the same level as I do or the same level as you do most of the time they will have free talk when you say free talk there's no topic it will be you and your students call whatever you want to talk to but there are there are bullet points on what to avoid when you're talking to this Chinese students because um, it has been just published on the Five One Talk website that um, you shouldn't interfere with their belief. You're not supposed to talk about fate. You're not supposed to talk about anything political or the news about the island that the Philippines and the Chinese uh, government are, you know, <laughs> arguing about. You're not supposed to talk about outside of your boundaries. You can talk about anything like what's your favorite book, what's your hobby, and anything like that. But anything political or religious is not allowed in Five One Talk. And I think that's very, very reasonable, right? So I, I just want to give you some, some bullet point on the free talk. And number two bullet point, we have prepare and study the teaching materials before you enter 
the classroom or you start the lesson. So you're not going to prepare for the classroom. I mean, what I'm trying to say is from scratch, you will prepare the lesson plan. No, you'll just enter the classroom and everything is ready to go for you. You just one click away and the materials are ready for you. That's how good the company is. Um, the books are really nice and easy to understand. There are ex there are red red text on the book. I cannot show you because it's a confidential file, but there are text there that you will see the teacher should read this part. You know, there's guidelines on the book that the students cannot see, but the teacher can see. The teacher can see the answer, the correct answer. The students cannot see the correct answer. So you're just there to guide them all throughout the class. Okay, so um, um, that's how good it is. Just enter the classroom. Make sure that you, you at least have an idea or enter the classroom at least 30 minutes before the lesson. So, yeah, you can prepare, read, you know, just pass, pass over the pages. Just read, have an idea. So because the students are reviewing the lesson before they enter the classroom. So you don't want your students to be more clever than you are, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do. Number three is conduct one-on-one -on -one video lessons with students within the prescribed time, which is 25 minutes. Um, yes, your video should be in good quality. Um, your video should be on. That's a part of our job um, because it will make the class more interactive and you're going to use more TPRs. I mean, movement. You're going to move your hands. You're going to show some facial expressions. Wow. Right. While you're teaching, that will give liveliness on the classroom. So camera, good video camera is a must. That's what I can say. And number four, provide corrective feedback to ensure that the students understand each lesson. Corrective feedback in a sense that you are encouraging them to do better, not in the way that they're discriminating or you're like mad, like that's not right. No, don't do that. It's like, oh, that's good. But there's a better answer to that. So you or oh, that's great. But can you say this again? And then you're going to say the word again in the corrective manner. So um, um, always be encouraging. Yeah. And um, they're kids most of the time for high school students. They're a little bit sensitive to correction. So you better watch out for that. You can feel anyway. So um, yeah, you'll have some some pointers when the students are you know aggravated when they get corrected you know you can really feel it so you will need to adjust your techniques on how to correct the students and there's so much so many ways to do that and anyway you'll have a lot of trainings with five one top and they will do that for you and the last is create a lesson memo with the necessary feedback about the topics discussed after the lesson you'll have to do the lesson memo it's like the summary of the whole lesson and you're going to give some feedback regarding the student. For example, the student is not focused, needs improvement on vocabulary. Well done. Let's do better next time. And then you're going to put there the sentences that they lack. For example, um, um, the teacher, beautiful. So you're going to put it there. And then the other is the correction. The teacher is beautiful. So you're just going to correct the sentences that uh, needs improvement. That's it. It's very easy. You have to do it within the time um, remaining. Uh, for example, in my case, after the lesson, we have five minute break. I do the lesson memo right after the class. So I won't forget or I won't get deduction because if you if you submit your lesson memo late, um, and which is reasonable, for example, you, you submitted your lesson memo four hours late. My goodness, but sometimes it happens. <laughs> if you forget it, uh, four hours, five hours, you'll have a deduction. So you don't want that, right? So uh, what I do is right after the lesson, I will do the memo. So those are the things that we will do um, when you enter the job in 5-1-Talk. So what's the next thing that we're going to discuss today? For the second one, 
these are the requirements. Okay, I'm just gonna cover my face. Oh, it's not doing okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm not. I'm not pro in using this. Anyway, there. I'm just gonna do my best. So let's read here. What is Five One Talk looking for? They're looking for you. But let's see if you are qualified. So first is, uh, you should. Um, actually, not really, but this is a very good advantage if you have teaching experience or maybe if you have a kid <laughs> of your own. Yeah, so ages 4 to 12, that's a very, that's a very high advantage for you guys. Uh, the, second bullet, the second bullet point is the most updated uh, requirement in 5.1 Talk, which I just found out last month. I... I, I referred, oh no, that's not last month, January, January, oh yeah, last month, it's just February today, February 25th, so last month, I was able to refer someone who is uh, experienced in call center or BPO, We've been working there for quite a long time, and I was very confident that she's going to make it in the cluster, but um, when she had a phone interview, that was January 5th, yeah, I referred her this last week of December, so obviously that was a holiday. So nobody, no nobody was able to, um, you know, to um, process her application because it's a long holiday from Christmas to New Year, and uh, the recruitment was resumed on January fifth. And uh, somebody called her and said, "I'm really sorry, but uh, for the 2019 requirements, we need at least four year bachelor's degree." graduate in the past you can we accept high school even high school grads or undergrads but this year they raised their standards and I just want to emphasize this in this video yeah because it's 2019 and this is what we follow now so that's bullet point number two let's go to number three uh, advantage another advantage is you if you have uh, TASL certification TEFL CELTA TKT uh, CETYL certifications or any equivalent of the certificates again this is just an advantage not required because in Find One Talk if you're not TESOL certified another good thing and I'm so happy is because I just passed my TESOL given by Find One Talk it's absolutely free yes if you're gonna search the TESOL it will cost you a lot of money, 200 to 300 dollars, to have the certificate. But in Five One Talk, you can get the Tesla for free. So that's another benefit from Five One Talk, uh, because we are required now to have the Tesla. Uh, well, that's mandated by China. And number four is um, another advantage if you have ch early childhood elementary or educational secondary education. That's already that's also uh, an advantage for you. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Focus on bullet number two. Uh, you should have at least four years bachelor's degree. So, yes. Um, for the technical requirements, let me just show you. The technical requirements are these. So, number one, um, I, I just want to say that um, for the technical requirements, um, if you can invest for Five One Talk, I mean, for this job, there's so many online jobs ongoing right now. You can look for the internet, whatever job you want it to be: video editor, online teacher, um, marketer, social media manager, virtual assistant. So many jobs. If you're gonna look for, uh, if you're gonna invest for a laptop or a computer, I, I suggest you you just give it a give the best shot because that's going to be your money machine okay so for five one talk these are the requirements for the processor or the cpu at least i3 intel i core intel core i3 i5 i7 or amd whichever is equivalent or higher i use amd uh, but they, rec they, I, I also have a lap. I'm using AMD now for my computer. It's a gaming PC, but I also have a laptop, a backup laptop, which is um, Intel i3, just for backup, and it's really doing a great job as well. So those are the qualifications for the CPU. Mind you, 
that if you have the if you have the technical test they will send you an app and you will run it on your computer and after the after the app runs you will see everything cpu passed ram failed everything what's your i what's your os everything is there your headset they can see everything so you have to make sure that you your technical requirements are passed because if not they're not gonna make you in you know they're not gonna uh, make you enter the training or the orientation next is the ram or the memory that they call so the minimum is four gig i use eight it's a gaming again <laughs> but 4 gig is great. That's my laptop. I only have 4 gig on my laptop. It's absolutely capable of doing it. But the classroom can eat a lot of memory most of the time. Especially, um, we're going to have some up upgrade on the classrooms, which is we're looking, looking forward this coming March. It's very exciting. I'm going to sh I'm going to share that to you later. But yeah, so requirement would be 4 gig that that can handle a browser and the classroom headset should be canceling or noise canceling um, but if you're just on the app application you can just use a regular headset for the meantime and then when you got your first pay boom you invest a good headset but if you have funds on you know uh, providing one there's uh, Jabra I'm using Jabra you can use Plantronics uh, what's the other one Logitech, yeah, there there are cheap headsets over there. You can look at it online, you know, Lazada, Sh Shopee, yeah. And um, yeah, that's for the headset. Very, very essential and very, very critical. And of course, internet connection. As you can see, can I zoom it? Yeah. Minimum of 3 Mbps wired, wired, let me repeat that. If you say on the interview that you're using a Wi-Fi, I'm really sorry, but they're going to decline, okay? So you should say DSL or broadband DSL, wired connection, um, should be uh, connected directly to your computer, of course, upon application. And, um, yeah, as you can see, it says here, wire wireless connections are not allowed. So the Wi-Fi is absolutely a no-no, especially when you say it on the interview. I'm sorry, you're not gonna make it. Okay. So if you're if if Five One Talk already called you, and they're gonna have some connection check, please 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 connect directly to what you call that the port. Yeah, the the LAN LAN the LAN cable to your computer or laptop. Um, because they can trace that okay so that's it for the technical you can you can have a quick look again on that um, so let's now move on to the next page what is the hiring process in 5.1 talk so this is the hiring process for 5.1 talk today so the first is the application of course and I as, as I mentioned you can go directly to the website to apply that's going to be where's the website that's going to be 51talk.com slash ph. That's the website. But if you need guidance, okay, I'm just going to show my face. If you need guidance on applying, you can look for someone who can help you uh, send the application directly to the company internally. And when you receive a text or a call, the referrer should will also receive a notification and we can see it on our page. If you are on the interview, are you on the training, are you uh, for launching? So we can guide you accordingly. What are you supposed to say? What are you supposed to do? How will you get a lot of students? How will you pass the demo? You have it's like a mentor. You have a mentor. So. If you're interested on um, applying for 5.1 Talk, I'll be definitely most happy to help you with that. Um, yeah, just uh, just uh, send a message or you can just, yeah, I'll just post my social media as well. So you can send me a personal message and um, I'll be more than willing to help you with that. Okay, so let's uh, proceed to the next. So application, somebody will call you on the phone. 
Um, that's going to be number two interview. It's going to be a phone interview. And to be honest with you, the phone interview, they will assess your accent if you're capable of speaking good English or not. I'm not saying to be slang. Just like me, I'm not slang. I'm just using a neutral accent. Okay, so just just be natural. Be just be you, okay? But of course, um, do do some extra efforts. Do your best to sound um, extraordinary to impress the interviewer on the phone. And they're going to ask you some basic questions about yourself. Do you have a teaching? Um, do you have a teaching experience? You know, those those bullet points that we already talked about a while ago, they're, they're going to be asked to you. And uh, just be prepared for some questions like, what does it take for you to be a teacher? You don't have uh, experience on being a teacher. So um, uh, what's your what's your difference with other applicants? Something like that. So just prepare yourself for uh, such a such eyes breaking questions. I mean, they're really they're really unexpected. It depends on the interviewer. So just be ready. You know what I mean? Number three is the orientation. If you made it, congratulations, you're going to have the orientation. And for the orientation, I'm very glad to say that it's like um, Skype. You're going to be in Skype with other people who made it on the phone interview, just like you do. And, excuse me. And uh, for the orientation, they're going to teach you the cultures, the cultures of uh, Chinese people. How are you, what levels are you going to teach? It's already like a like an introduction um, of what 5-1 Talk is and what's what are the jobs that's waiting for you on the company. So it's like a welcome to you. So congratulations if you made it on the orientation. Next would be the training. The training requires, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but uh, I had a lot of, ref uh, I've referred many friends and they had five hours to six hours training. That's only for one day, but that's the only one training that you're going to have, okay, because they're going to teach you what to do on the classroom. They're going to give you a picture already of what is inside the classroom. How are you supposed to handle level one, level two to the advanced students? Everything that you should do in the company before they launch you will be discussed on the training, okay? So it's like... You know when you you know you know when you're you know when you had a job you already signed a contract and they're already training you because you're hired. So when you're on a training, just think about it like that. So it's like you're already hired, but if you don't pass the training, just like in the call center, people, you know what I'm talking about. So if you don't pass the training, there's still a big chance of not making it in the company. So yeah, so we're gonna go through the training for five to six hours. After that, they're going to ask you for a schedule. When are you convenient for your demo? Usually on the day or the next day, you will have your demo. Okay, so um, for the demo, don't worry about it. All I can say about the demo, can I make it smaller, is, um, oh, what happened? Anyway, they're, gonna, they're going to tell you, um, hold on, honey. There you go. Sorry. So they're going to tell you what to prepare. You should prepare some props like, okay, you should give the students a, oh, a star or uh, oh, I'll give you some lollipop. Mm. Yeah, so those are and um, some hair bands, props to make you look like you're, you're really, really enthusiastic and you're really, you're really, um, you look like you really want the student to be captivated on the class. So you should put something like this. It shouldn't be this big, okay? You can just put the pig's ear, rabbit ears, whatever you want, flowers on your head, crown on your head. You can even put shades, not the shades that... You know, the, the fancy wincy shades, you know, with star designs, you know, anything like that. So, yeah, those are the things. Oh, you can also uh, have some puppets like I have here. I have a bunch of them. So you can you can play with your students. Um, and this can be also used on your demos. Like, 
Hi, my name is Candy. What's your name? My name is January. Nice to meet you, January. Nice to meet you, too. You know, so there are changes of voice happening on the classroom, <laughs> especially if you're reading the role plays. Oh, that's really a must. You know, those kind of things are very, very effort, you know, not so not, not so much effort to insert, unlike to other jobs. You know, you're just at home, you know, you're just at home talking to uh, good people, good students, cute students. Oh, they're really cute, believe me, and they're very lovely. Anyway, so that's the process. I'll just talk about that in a, in, in a short while. So we have the application. You're going to send your application. You're going to have the phone interview, orientation uh, about what 5-1 Talk is, training on what to do as a teacher. And the last is they're going to test you if you're qualified to be one of us. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Do I have anything more? That's all. So as I mentioned a while ago, Five One Talk is a part of NYSE 2016, and that's something really nice to um, to rely on the company. What I'm trying to say is they made it in NYSE. Okay, regardless of what their stats are right now, I'm not really sure, but they made it on NYSE. Made me proud that this Chinese company is the top English platform for education for the Chinese students. That's just really awesome. And for the schedules, uh, sweethearts, we have here. Hold on. Oh, it's so, you know, I'm very, very. What happened? All right, so the picture is so big, I have to adjust. You can't see the entire thing. Okay, there you go. Um, okay, so for the schedule, we have set. The, the, the good thing is China is uh, Asia as well, just like us. So you're not going to have a hard time to adjust your time. There's no, there's no um, adjustment on the time. What their time is, that's exactly our time here. So 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. is the peak hours in the evening. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of students in the evening. Peak hours. So for the weekends, we have 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. straight. And you have the opportunity to earn more because we have the weekend bonus, especially on Sundays. Saturdays, we only have bonus on the evening. As of the moment, yes. So, um, yeah. Uh, the company is uh, offering a lot of uh, perks for the teachers, so that's why I, I was able to stay here for, for you know, for, for a long time, you know. So, what's my feedback on 5-1 Talk? <laughs> yeah, uh, what's my feedback on 5-1 Talk? I really feel blessed that I found this job. Number one is I am not... I'm not traveling or what we call commuting just to go to our workplace facing so heavy traffic jams outside, a lot of smoke you can inhale, you know, and there's no extra expenses for the food that sometimes if you have no choice, you just have to run on 7-Eleven or Jollibee or whatever, a fast food chain, which is not healthy for everybody, right? Um, I've been a call center agent for five years and believe me, I just gained a lot of disease and illness, you know, from working graveyard and um, not having a break for myself. I, I eat almost everyday fast food since there's no available and I'm just having, I'm just living in a dormitory or an apartment wherein I cannot cook. I just sleep on the bed and dormitory, it's a girl's dormitory. So I have no choice. I just eat burger or burger steak or, you know, those kind of lifestyle. Though it, that was a long time ago, I can still remember how hard it is to work in the city. Uh, I live in the province, but uh, during the time that I'm working for the BPO, I, I stayed in Manila in the, Philippine, in, the, in the main city for those who are watching not from Philippines. So life is very hard outside, you know. Um, but here in 5-1 Talk, I appreciate everything. I have no tax to pay. I don't need to go out. Sometimes, 
you're teaching and you're not taking a bath like you just woke up like this and I just put some lipstick and just powder my face and thank you for choosing 5-1 talk yeah <laughs> it's just like that you know and you can just run on your closet change your clothes it's not you know you have to wake up two hours or one hour ahead of time you're still sleepy you know and it's very hard to file a leave you know leave of absence outside on your company oh my goodness sometimes you'll be declined you know you filed it for one month ahead two months ahead and still getting declined very awful but in 5-1 talk I have the freedom to choose the time when I want to work when I want to off everything is under my control it's really awesome especially for a single mom like me and I really want to take the chance to to thank 5-1 talk for um, for giving me a opportunity to have this job this is my full-time job I have no other job and I'm able to send my son to a private school and I'm able to rent this big house and I'm able to pay my credit card my internet bill electric bill and whatever bill it's all because of 5-1 talk and of course I want to thank um, Lord Jesus Christ for um, always taking care of me and my family. Um, this job is absolutely amazing for those people who wants to stay at home but earn big just by providing an internet connection, laptop or computer which is capable of the requirements that I just mentioned. If I were you, give it a shot and if they call you, give your best shot guys I mean it's worth it um, you can make it as a part-time you can make it as a full-time again your slots are under control if you just want to work from 7 p.m. after you work from 8 to 5 you go home you eat your dinner you have a part-time at 7 to 10 you sleep at 10 30 it's fine it's an additional income for you so I think that's that's all for today so this video is quite long but I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope that somehow I was able to help you with this video again my name is teacher January and I'll post my Facebook name down so you can add me if you need uh, somebody to refer you I can definitely help you on that okay so that would be all and I'm I'm going to make some other videos about 5-1 um, talk online teaching and of course uh, personal testimonies um, with so many things in my life so thank you very much for choosing 5-1 talk I'll see you soon have a great day bye